when it comes to that contact center coaching, um, contact center you know approach to coaching, we've got to make sure that our agents, our representatives, whatever you call them within your organization, they need to know that you are invested into their success. If they feel like you're just checking a box, if they feel like, oh, he's just doing this or she's just doing this because they're getting graded on it, their commission's based on this, you're going to have a very hard time engaging your agents. And so it's very important that when you go into it, that, that you really understand who you're working with. You know, when we start our coaching, the first coaching that we do with new agents is a getting to know you session. What is it that drives you? What is it that causes you to come to work every day? Why are you doing what you're doing? And when you begin to know the why, you can then relate to them and ensure that they know that you're there to help them through that process. Whatever their goal is that, you know, whether they want to be a manager, they want to make more money, they want to travel and, and work on different teams. They need to know that you're invested, that you're engaged into their success. And so the best approach is that side-by-side -side mentorship level um, coaching and develop, development. You've got to make sure that you are truly working in a mentorship mentality. So when they know that you're there for them, they'll go that extra mile. When it comes to best practices and strategies, outside of doing the getting to know you sessions, and I always recommend that you look at how am I rewarding my teams. What am I doing to create some healthy competition within the teams? And do I have little trophies that I'm mailing out? Do I have, you know, Uber Eats or Grubhub comp coupons that I'm mailing out? What is it that I'm doing to reward their success? Because within the contact center world, we all know that it's high stress. It's a lot of challenges that they run into every day. They've got now, you know, where contact centers were still paying $10, $12 an hour. Now you've got McDonald's and I just saw this morning Hobby Lobby, $18.50 an hour minimum wage. We have to compete with that. So if you're not coaching and developing and showing them that you're invested in their success, you're going to lose them. Your attrition is going to be high. Your turnover rate is going to be extremely high. But when you begin to mentor them, focus on those behaviors. And like I said, in week one, when you focus on behavior one and all throughout your follow-ups throughout the week, when you get to week two, all right, let's go to behavior number two. What's the second most pivotal area that we need to work on? By the end of the month, you've worked through you know, four to six different areas of that call flow, email flow, chat flow where they feel like they're progressing and that they're getting better at their job and which makes them happier because if there's incentives involved, then they're making more money or they're getting Amazon gift cards. They're getting, you know, they're being rewarded for their efforts. And so your entire team begins to improve. And then you as the leader, because you're investing in your team, because you're mentoring your team, you're putting in practice these best practices, your team begins to improve. And then you as a leader begin to be noticed within the organization, and it begins to lift the ceiling off of your head that's been holding you back for so long.